HTM families, how are we doing? Um, great to be with you here at High Tech Battle. It is Friday and PJ Day um, as we conclude our spirit week. So um, I am cheating a bit because I know it's not Sunday. And I also know that, um, you know, you, I'm sure you guys missed me last week. I didn't make a video, but, um, you know, I want to be really intentional about the time um, that I have with you and like the information that I share. And so like uh, I chose last week, we didn't have a lot to share. Um, and so I wanted to honor your time, um, and I'll do so moving forward um, when topics are specific or there's big things coming up. Uh, you can definitely expect messages from me. I really like where we are as a community and um, both inside the school and outside the school. So, um, you know, I want to make sure that my time with you is valued and also like when I'm communicating, it's meaningful. So uh, a few things on the docket for this week. Um, so... On Wednesday, uh, we have our November uh, Breakfast with Brett, which is at 9, 10, opportunity for any parents to come in. Um, I give a small little brief update of the things that we're working on, uh, field any informal questions that uh, you might have concerning school, and then we jump right into a, our parent association meeting, which happens somewhere around like 9, 45, 10 o'clock, uh, where we transition into it, where Ms. Gabriel's leading a discussion about upcoming events. So I hope that you'll tune in. We also send out a virtual option uh, right before the meeting. So if you can't make it in person, but you want to chime in or listen, please feel free to use the Zoom link um, that we'll send out on Tuesday. Also on Wednesday is the end of our fall fundraiser, which is the culminating event, the Day of Awesomeness, which we're hosting at the Bay. I know that we're still looking for a few volunteers to help support that event. If you're interested, please email Ms. Gabriel. Um, if you don't have her email, just feel free to email me and I'll just connect you. Uh, right now we have about 10 or 12 volunteers, but we're taking the entire school down to the bay um, at around 1045 to participate from 11 to 1230. And uh, they've got like different events and blow up things. And it's like a combination of like Ninja Warrior courses and stuff like that to celebrate and culminate our end of our fundraiser, which has been really, really awesome. Uh, we raised, I think we we're over $20,000 in funds for HTM and we'll actually be discussing at the parent meeting or parent associated meeting on Wednesday, uh, how we might use that money um, for the school year. Uh, you know, my, my hope is that we're using it to support um, projects and teacher supplies and things for kids um, this school year and field trips. Uh, so, you know, that's like Wednesday is a jam-packed day, and then we've got some professional development. And then shout out to one of our parents who's going to be leading yoga um, Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock for our teachers, for anyone who's interested. So, um, you know, super cool uh, day, jam-packed with lots of things on that Wednesday. Um, another really cool thing to just report out on is that, um, you know, we're kind of like moving a little bit past COVID. Not that COVID's not gone, but uh, we're starting to kick up field trips again. I'm really proud to say that we have at least one field trip planned for each grade level um, before winter break to support some of the projects that you'll see at exhibition and just deeper learning experiences. So um, eighth grade is going to the safari park um, related to their adapt or die projects. Um, seventh grade is going to the train museum and then sixth grade is going to the zoo. Um, and when we get back from Thanksgiving break, I'll be making visible some of the projects that you can expect to see on exhibition, which is December 14th. So mark your calendars. Um, I believe it's going to be from five to seven, but more details will be coming uh, where you'll be invited in to um, have an evening of learning from our students and as they exhibit their learning uh, in different ways. The last uh, item that I have for you today is just a, a reminder. We've been um, really kind of trying to tighten up some of our safety and security procedures at HTM. Um, we've got some things in the work, but one of the things I want to remind you is that uh, one of the expectations here is that if you are hoping to have a scheduled meeting with either myself, Mr. Olu, a teacher, that um, one, it's pre-scheduled, so you reach out, you set a date and time, and then that teacher um, I'm sharing with them should be notifying Ms. Veronica at the front desk um, that we will be having some visitors in the building so that we are accountable for all of the adults especially non-high tech high employees that are on our campus. So again, if you're interested in having a meeting or you need to discuss something with one of us in person, uh, just make sure you reach out to us. We'll schedule a time and a date um, and, and make sure everybody's notified again um, in the name of just safety and security for our kids and for our school community. So um, after that, that's all I really got. Um, I still got my safety vest on from break and lunch, which is typical for me on uh, our school days. Um, so uh, that's all I've got. I wish everyone a, a really, really awesome weekend and, um, you know, look forward to 
a nice uh, upcoming week with Veteran Day on Veterans Day on Friday. So thank you for all of you in in the service or that have served our country. It's a um, obviously a very important part of our function as a society, and, and, uh, and we appreciate your service and thank you for all that you do. And um, you know, I am very honored to have the life that I live, and, and much of it goes to our military. So thank you, and uh, I wish everybody a great weekend, and uh, we'll talk soon.